Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Lucas for UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by senior defensive tackle Patrick Buttram. Patrick, what's your earliest memory of the Wisconsin-Minnesota series? Probably first or second grade. Those games used to be classics back when I was younger. and Just a, a lot of parody in the series and always great games. So when you got here, you had a certain expectation for what it would be all about. Did it meet, meet that expectation once you started playing? Uh, absolutely. The rivalry is, is so unexpected, and that's been something that we always talked about. You can always throw away the records and the statistics in these games. It, it never really matters. I go back to my, my true freshman year when I think they were 1-10, and, and we were 9-3, and three, and the game almost went into overtime. It was so close. Is there a different intensity level when you play the Gophers? Uh, I would say every game is so important. You only get 12 guaranteed right. opportunities in college football, but you can definitely feel the urgency going against those guys. And, Thing is, you know a lot of them too. How important is the Paul Bunyan axe, that tradition? Well, you know, it symbolizes the win, most importantly, and it's nice to tote that around the field after a win. Do you feel as a team you got back on track last week against Purdue? I do, I do. I think sometimes people take for granted those kind of wins at home, and I think coming in and, and winning in the fashion that we did was something that was very necessary for us. Are you back close to 100% now? I am, I am. Practicing full now, doing everything in practice, and, and running around and feeling really good. What was it like those few weeks when you weren't at 100%. How tough was it? Uh, well, it was difficult to get mis uh, the Michigan State week just because it was hard enough to practice because I didn't practice all week. And then against Ohio State, I, I was very limited in practice and kind of hobbling around. But last week, finally, uh, I'd say I was very close to 100%. And now I think I'm back to full health. So it's nice to come back, come into a game knowing that I have a full week of preparation. It gives me a lot of confidence. Patrick, after those two road losses in East Lansing and Columbus, people are wondering how the Badgers travel. Do you have something to prove on the road? No question about it. It's going to be a hostile environment. This, this rivalry game is always very well attended, always a great atmosphere. Never know what to expect up in Minnesota. And we, def we definitely do some have something to prove on the road and, and uh, definitely a big focus for this, this Gophers week. have played well over the last couple of games, they have, too. That's the other thing, too, and that you know they played well at Michigan State, um, took them to the wire as well, something that we did uh, there. So, um, you know, we both have that in common and beat Iowa at home, a very good Iowa team. So we need to come in there very focused and prepared. And, Definitely expecting to win, as, well. as always, but um, we, we know that they're playing so well right now and they're starting to get hot. As one of the seniors, as one of the leaders of this team, you realize there's a lot left to play for. There's a lot of football left in this conference no. to determine a lot of different things. Yeah, absolutely, and you know this could be such a special year and just trying to you know, really leave no regrets as tacky as that sounds, but uh, play our best football. That sounds good. And play our best, yeah, play my best football as a senior going into uh, going into my last three games. The clock is running now. Do you the clock start is, sensing it? The clock's it? always ticking, but now it's, it's time's really running out. Hey, good luck against Thanks. the Gophers. Appreciate it. For Patrick Buttram, I'm Mike Lucas. Be sure to look for Varsity Online, the magazine, and also check out Badger Breakdown with me and the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. Thanks for watching UWBadgers.com.